It's awful good to be on the practice field. Um, really like the uh, the attention to uh, to detail that the guys are trying to, to go about. We're, we're nowhere near uh, where we're going to be or where we're going, but uh, the work ethic, um, their caring, their willingness, their work ethic, all those all those things that you like to see when you're trying to incorporate uh, some nuances to the offense, some changes to the offense. Uh, and you've got a number of very talented young players to do it with. Um, all, the, all those things are in place for us to continue to improve offensively. And, and uh, I like the way they're going about their business every day. Um, there's, you know, the defense is, is doing a, a number of different things, which is exciting for all of us. And uh, it gives our guys exposure to a number of different schemes, a number of different looks. It does nothing but help us as a football team, uh, you know. But as we go through this process, sometimes it looks pretty painful. Uh, as we get used to some of the things and the nuances of our of the defensive scheme that we're seeing, but as it comes together and, and when it fits together and when guys are doing things correctly in the way they're coached to do, uh, this offense has got an opportunity to be incredibly explosive. And, uh, and be the type of offense that can put points on the board. Mike, you having been other places, you know, you haven't been with Brian the whole time. Did you try to bring some things that you've learned other places into this offense? Yeah, I, th I think, you know, all of us have different experiences, obviously, that we carry with us. And, and uh, you know, myself and, and uh, the rest of the offensive coaches, uh, we all have input into kind of tweaking our scheme and, and having an idea of where we're going. It's absolutely, you know, driven by Coach Kelly, um, you know, as the leader of the offensive unit. And, and he's going to be the guy who is obviously calling the play, so it's, he's going to have the most influence on what we're doing. But uh, it's not a time or a situation where the offensive staff isn't involved in um, decision-making processes. And, and I think we all bring something different to the table. Uh, whether it be you know Matt Lafleur and, and the things that he's seen and done in the NFL, and you got Harry He standing in there who's been in the NFL and college for a number of years, and and Tony Alford who's played in different offenses and, and coached in different offenses as well. So I think we all try to collectively, okay, as we sit down and we we, we go through this and, we, and we're developing exactly what our scheme's going to look like headed into the fall, um, you know. How have you done it? How have you seen it? How have you, you know what I mean? And we, and we really have the ability as an offensive staff uh, to talk through all those things and try to get the finer details done and put our guys in the best position we can to, to help them.